hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to create models and use those models using the admin panel in Django so let's get started open the code and we'll see the output in the previous video we had seen how to link the static files that is the images CSS and JS in our Django project so now we are going to create models so models is nothing but the database so first we'll get we'll create a model so inside your accounts folder inside your application so you have a file called models.py so here we have to create our models so let's create one model called blogs so class blogs and here you have to specify this models.model and here you have to tell you have to specify your field names that will be the title it will be character field so it's character field let's remove this okay max length I'm going to keep 191 comma and I'll set null equals to true okay so null equals true so similarly you have to specify all your fields I'm just keeping title and description to keep it simple so this will also be character field and max length let's keep 500 for this and null equal to true in this also so then here we are going to see one we'll add one timestamp that is created at time so it will store the date and time when we have created so here we'll use an inbuilt thing date time field okay so remove this here auto add now we have to set it to true so whenever the record is created in this model it will store the default I mean current time and date so here null equal to true okay so here okay spelling mistake here true okay so once a model is created you have to register it in the admin.py file so here we'll write the code admin dot site dot register and this inside this you have to call your model name that is the blog so here just write it and here it shows error so let us include the file from dot models import all let us import all or we can particularly call us that model so blogs I have called it here okay so now let us migrate using the command so py manage dot py make migrations okay so whatever models you have made you will get a migration created inside your application folder so give this command and just you can see inside this migrations folder you will get one so migrations for accounts created model blogs so inside migrations you can see your this file here and inside this you can see your structure of your table how it's going to be created so this is the default ID that is auto incremented title description and this one we have mentioned there in the models so now to send this in the actual table so we'll be using dbsqlite 3 now in the further videos I'll show you how to connect this with the mysql server also so now we'll give the command to migrate py manage dot py migrate hit enter here you can see all the migrations are created so because this is dbsqlite 3 and we don't have a GUI graphical user interface for that like we have for the SQL so MySQL so for this to see this you need to use it view it in the admin panel which Django provides so here you can use the admin so here it asks for a, a login details so first you have to create a super user who can be the admin over here so who can view that so for that we have a command here so let us type it py manage dot py create super user and hit enter so it's going to ask a username 
leave blank to use HP so I'll just put it to om enter email om at gmail.com hit enter so password I'll type in my password so it's not going to reflect here so you don't have to worry about it so I have typed my password so here it says it's too short it must be at least eight characters I have just given four and this these are the basic rules for creating the password so bypass validation password validation create anyway so I give yes hit enter okay so super user created successfully so using this login details you can log into the admin panel which Laravel like Django provides so here I will give om at gmail.com password I put my password and hit login okay so please enter the okay I think we missed something let's go back reload the page and now try to access it admin hit enter login oops okay so I mistaked it so it's username so I was entering my gmail so my username was home and my password so now let us log in and you can see we have logged in so you can see your uh, models which we had created here blogs so this by default adds one s to it so I had created already plural like blogs so it has added another yes over here so you can click on this and view all the column names here so you can see no blocks to change add blocks you can add so here it is title and description I'll just show you title is Django crash course description let's keep subscribe to Sharma coders okay so now let's go save and you can see it was saved successfully so here you are able to see blogs object one so here I want to show the title so for this you can just write a simple code in your models so here inside this class just create a function so it is define underscore str okay and pass the self And here just you return self dot title okay so now you can go and check in the blogs I mean in the admin panel so you can okay yeah so it was loading so you can see Django crash course you can open that and view it so you have an option of delete save so all this is handled by Django we'll see in this how to make the custom user interface for this for the users this is for the admin only so we had seen how to log into the admin panel and create the super user and create the models so in further videos we'll see how to use this model and insert data from the user interface like this so this is the admin panel I just log out from here log out and we'll go to the app over here so we had given home so I haven't kept anything in the default thing so home here so here we'll give the user to log in and add the blog so here I've just created one button here in the nav link so here in next video we'll see how to add this uh, from the user side so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you